Hey everybody, it's Amy with Sassy Seedlings. So glad you stopped by for this video. In this one, I'm actually going to show you progress of the winter sowing. Now that it's officially spring, I'm going to pull some of these jugs and see how they're doing. So we're going to do two right now. This one, as you can see, the permanent marker gets worn off, but it says Lark Larkspur singing the blues. So let me go ahead and get this opened up. Okay, so I um, cut the tape, opened the lid, and as you can see, um, beautiful larkspur plants. And let's see if I can find the actual tag. Here it is. So I marked it inside, So, because I always know that the outside gets, gets worn down. But this is what the larkspur looks like that was planted around the beginning of February. So let's try the next one. Okay, this one is the flashback calendula, and again, all of these were marked inside because the outside was worn down. So, quite a few plants. They're large now, and they're going to need more airflow and transplanted soon, but that's what our larkspur looks like. I'm sorry, calendula. Okay, our next one is Colorado Blend Yarrow, and I picked some of the jugs that things were just getting tall and... Um, just needed to get some air here and let me open our last one and the last jug I'm opening today is a bachelor button black boy so this is one of the ones that's going to be for the goth garden but so these ones I chose to open first they were tall and really filled up the jugs and now they're they're able to get some more air in here in the greenhouse and they will be potted up soon. Not quite feeling comfortable enough to transplant them out yet, maybe another week. Um, but yeah, I figured we open four of the ones I've had going um, during the winter season. So now that we're in the spring season, I'm going to take a few jugs and start some hot or warm weather crops, some tomatoes, um, and maybe some peppers that I just didn't have the room to start in the house and see how they do. If, if they do okay, it's it's to let you all know how they would do. I have plenty of, of those started already, but just wanted to stop in and show you some progress on the winter all sowing. Right. I'll only be able to do this a few jugs at a time. As you can see in the background, I have plants on my potting bench. There are plants everywhere in this greenhouse, but some of these plants in these winter sowing jugs, they're tall, they're full. We need to bust open the jugs. They need to get some good air. And so I don't have to really worry about the squirrels getting into them. I'm bringing them into the big greenhouse and putting them on the floor. Uh, we do have a couple cold nights getting into the upper 30s, but nothing for freezing. But It'll keep critters out and I'll be able to see what I'm going to plant where. So, let me see. We will start with this Cosmo Diablo. And we have a couple in here. Uh, one that's pretty good size, um, a few others that started. So these are good. Um, there looks like there's another one coming up. So I'll trim off some of these dry pieces, but I will uh, cut off the lids. This will go on the floor. These will still be watered in here and be protected, and we'll see if more seeds sprout. So let me see. I actually can't read the outside of the jug. That's why I always say, maybe this is Salvia Violet Queen. We will see when we get in here. This tape, once it dries up, gets pretty nasty. Ah, okay, let me double check my tag inside. And voila, Salvia Violet Queen. So, as you can see, um, the salvia did great. The roots are actually, oh no, that's the mulch. I thought roots were coming out the bottom, but we've got a lot. This did great. 
And I've got two more I brought in here. Uh, this one I definitely cannot read, so I'll have to see what they are whenever we get inside here. This is why I recommend cheap packing tape. It comes off easily right in the trash. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And let's see. Oh, here's my tag. And this is seashell Coreopsis. And they did great. There's still some germinating. So that's really happy to see. Now, one thing I'm gonna mention, for me, uh, we go through water, distilled water and regular drinking water um, on a regular basis. So I always have a, a good supply of these to make plant covers, winter sewing jugs and whatnot. I cut the tops off when I'm done, but you can um, just take the tape off and if you have room to store them, you can reuse the jug next year because these wear off so easily. But just something I wanted to mention. Oh, look how beautiful these are. And these are Snapdragon White Snowflake. I'm really excited for these. Beautiful. And I might as well keep going. I'm going to pause this and run and get some more. May as well open all the ones that we have that need to be open to get more room. Alrighty, back with you. I grabbed a bunch more jugs. First, I'm going to apologize if you hear a fan going right behind me. I'm in my big greenhouse. It is currently over 80 degrees in the evening and I wanted to come out here, film where I'm going to be keeping this stuff when it's not super hot and when I have enough light. So I went ahead and I removed all the tape so nobody wants to watch me do that on every jug. And this one says black swan poppies. This is also one that I talked about in my seed haul that I'm going to use for a, a moody or goth type garden with blacks and deep maroons and reds. But these are just just the, the leaves are gorgeous on a lot of flowers. Um, this is wonderful. They germinated great and I don't have a date. Some of them I put a date on and others I forgot, but all of these were sowed from the first week of February up to the third week of March. So this one is Love in a Mist Rose Nigella. Again, um, super great germination, beautiful foliage. I'm um, very excited for, for this one. Uh, this one I do have a date of 224, and I sewed two different kind in here. On one side is the red cone flower, and the other side is box club. And yes, they do have tags on. I had a tag that I split um, to show the name for either side, but both apparently are fabulous. I'm really, really happy with everything so far. Um, the, the variety of flowers, the colors, it's going to be great. I'm excited. Um, Jet Black Hollyhock, again, one of the ones I wanted to grow for that goth garden. And um, look, just, I'm just so excited. I can't tell you. You get some more here that I have on the ground. Okay, this one is Snapdragon black prints. Um, sorry, it has some of the tape re residue, but fabulous germinator also for the goth garden. And people are probably wondering why I'm calling it the goth garden. It's basically just for the feel and the colors to be all in one area and spread throughout. But this next one, uh, it was here completely washed off. Let me look for the tag. Uh, this one is Phlox Sugar Stars. Again, 
great germination, healthy seedlings, lots of them. Um, can't read this one either. Let's see where I put the tag. This one is Candy Tuft Fairy Dwarf. So, as you can see, some of these really get growing and get tall, but again, doing great. Let me set those to the side. This next one is Swamp Milkweed, uh, a pink purple color in the package. Oh, this is wonderful. Growing this to feed the pollinators, especially those butterflies. So, really happy with that. And I have one more in this batch to share. Um, nope, can't make out what it is. Uh, Apricot Foxglove Fairy Queen. So, again, great germination. I will be right back. I'm going to go and see if we have any more that, that look like they're ready for today. Okay, everybody, last three jugs that I feel are ready to uncover today. Um, this is some sort of pansy. Let me read the tag. Uh, Pansy Berna Velvet Blue. So these are going to probably be a purplish color. In the gardening world, blue really isn't blue, and purple's not really purple. Uh, sometimes they're a mix. <laughs> but, yeah, really excited for that one. And we have two more. Um, this one, I can't really read that well either. Uh, straw Flower king size red so we have several that have come up and because they're going to be here in the greenhouse I'm going to keep them watered some of the containers that have a lot in them um, some of those will come out and go into other containers but these ones will still have a chance to uh, to keep sprouting if there are more seeds in here okay and tech, where are you this is Viola Johnny Jump Up. Um, so these, as you can see, they're doing well, but these bottom leaves are, are getting brown. Um, too many roots fighting for the space, so we will end up dividing those up um, and keeping everything healthy. So let me turn you around here. I've been quite busy. Um, I don't even have my full potting bench. I have a mess. Um, but I did want to show you, you know, based on if you've watched the winter sowing video, when I started these, you'll see what I mean. Sometimes the containers keep the name on there. It's permanent marker, but with the rain and the sun, they wear down, as you saw in some of the jugs. So just wanted to show everybody an example of that. I think next year I might consider getting a cheaper duct tape and just doing a piece on the front uh, on the side not wrapping it all the way around the plastic tape against the plastic jugs just makes this awful flaky mess so um, it's not gonna hurt me it did just fine everything seems to have a yellow cast to it because we are in the pollen season here in the south where everything is a yellow gross coated mess for a couple months but um can't stop us we have a lot to do but i just wanted to show you progress uh so far i have many more jugs over there they do have things that sprouted in them but i know that they're still small i want to keep them in the jug keep them well protected so maybe another week or two for those but um wanted to get these other ones out so i have one here and this is the floor of my greenhouse i have mulch i have to lay down that's what I've opened in this video. And that, folks, is just the winter sowing process. I will leave a link to that video so you can go and check it out. What I'm going to do next is, not on this video, I'll do another short video, is we're gonna use the same method. We're not gonna call it the winter sowing method. I'm gonna call it the spring sowing method. And I'm gonna use the same method, using the jugs, to start seeds that I might normally have a hard time because squirrels and birds like to get into them. So I'm going to start more sunflowers 
and it gives some other crops a head start that are warmer weather, but now that we're full on spring, they should sprout pretty quick. But just wanted to update you. Thanks again for stopping by. If you're new here, hello, and I hope you come back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love it if you joined us. I just want to start a community here and keep everything going. I've met a lot of wonderful YouTubers. I've learned a lot. A lot of the methods I'm using here, I've learned from other people. And I like to pass it on and show other people how those methods work for me. They may not work for everybody. You may not like all of them, but there are plenty of options. You have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.